Well, how do I get there? That is a big question. Ah, leap of face. Okay. More time. Whoo, set completed. Channel manliness. <laughs> set one three. I guess that's the last level. Good. I think I, I'm, I'm one of the few people who, who can say, hey, I managed to try to defeat Tool Time. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only one. Oh, that would be so awesome. That would be a world record. <laughs> oh, secret? Not really. So, where are... fuck. That was your chance, Ayla. <laughs> I must channel my manliness! I'm not a boy! I'm a man! Manliness! Up. Okay. We'll mend all these instructions. Fuck. Did I want this? Not really. Okay. I can deal with that. I probably have to go up here. Ah, points. Yay. Ah, there was an end. Okay, I guess I will be doing this here for some time now. I burnt the end. Burnt it good. Oh god. Do I want up here? No, let's go down. Manliness power! Lower white. Okay. There's one. How do I get to you? Oh, let's see if it's... If it's ooh! Okay. Oh, great. Just what I wanted. So, Beck says I should use my jacket. Can you... Crawl up my pants and bit my dick. That's how a lot of people died horribly. Apparently I can't use a jackhammer on this thing. Back! You lost trust with me. It's too small a target for the end. BURN! <laughs> Crowley is so savage! <laughs> and this is how Tim and Alan lost his stick. <laughs> Bitten off by the end. Oh, it does work! Maybe there's just not enough... Maybe there just was enough space. That makes the jackhammer quite powerful. 
So can I? Let's just run and hope for the best. Ah. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. I I don't. Oh, back, 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 back! Got his trust back. Wait a second. That doesn't seem to work every time. Wow. Well, uh, reliable. Hit that thing. Fuck it. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, that's a bad idea. Don't, don't, don't try this at home, kids. It doesn't even help me if I kill this thing. I may get a different weapon, but I don't really want to. It's a pretty good weapon here. Wait, 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 wait. How am I supposed to get this clock down here? Oh, like this. Okay. I didn't say anything. Sorry, game designers. Oh, God. Woo! Ah! <laughs> boom, boom, boom. So, don't fall down. Thanks. Can you grab? Wonderful. Uh oh. The dick biting ants are here. Yes. I haven't even found one crate yet. Ah, there we go. How many do I need? Four more. Oh god. Cheese to the max. So... Up there is one, and down there is one, and everywhere. I see them everywhere, I just don't know how to get... Holy fuck! Killing these things is a real bitch. Uh oh. Oh god. <laughs> what? I'm so manly I can walk on... Okay. Those things don't hurt? It's not horribly bad. I played worse uh, jump ones. Then again, I'm using save state, so that may add to the fun factor a little bit if I don't have to redo everything all the time because of stupid controls or so. Stuff takes way too long to die. That's my main, main gripe, I think. Flamethrower, or flamethrower. <laughs> Terrible games you never heard of by Dr. Stuart Ashes. I, 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 I don't know if I need that. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay, so how do I get there? Or just play clans? <laughs> or just play clans, exactly. So I somehow have to get down there. I can't go this way. I can't go that way. I can't destroy this. Okay. These levels are huge. Uh, how do I get out of here, by the way? I'm stuck? No. Really? It seems I'm stuck. Okay, that sucks. And of course I saved down here. <laughs> I can't even kill myself. The hell? New stream, new a Millard Duck Ailer. What? Take care, CPC. I seem to be stuck. I am stuck. Secret. You don't think you are stuck, okay? You think that because... Maui Mallard in Cold Shadow. Isn't that a Donald Duck game? There's nothing I can do here. Huh. Oh well. I'm pressing some dogs then. Fuck this. <laughs> Maui Mallard in... What? No, I don't have that. I have the mask. Mario paint! Oh, Mario is missing. I think I tried to stream that once. It was horrible. But let's play Mario is missing. Let's see how bad my geography is. But I think I take a quick break. I will be right back.
So. Yeah, why not? Salt. It's a fun game. Search for Mario. No, well, this is an official game. So, let's go in here. Luigi's first real adventure. Okay, that looks like Italia. Oh God! You came out. Is there something I can pick up? Hi, where am I? This city was built on seven hills in 753 BC. It was home to Caesar, the original Italian stallion. <laughs> okay. What was that piece of shit that was here? What is this? Ah, I picked it up. Hey, I picked shit up. A spear. I said Italia. So I'm in Rome. That's not that hard. The original Italian stallion. Uh huh. Let's go up here. It is Mario's missing. <laughs> That's why it looks like it. Do, 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 do. So, kill more Koopas. I need one more item. Yo, Peach. Yo, you. Hey. Asshole. I'm talking to you. Where am I? Maybe I should wear a suit because this country is shaped like a boot. Really? What is this? Can I add my two cents to your little speech? Those coins are worth two wishes each. Okay. What is this? Yo, beach. What's this? That's from the Lusseler we night. Set 50,000 Roman dudes. Okay. Roman dudes have get. You know the taxis, you need to find Yoshi. Uh, we need to move Yoshi. City map? No, not, that, not city map. But Globulator. And you take God, Yoshi. Ah, oh, Bowser's cast in the, is in the Antarctica, by the way. If you ever thought, oh, where the fuck may Bowser be? Ah, oh, it's in the Antarctica. And then we move up. And here we are. Rome, Italy. And we have Yoshi. Yay! This is his NES version, yeah. Yo, dude. Where am I? I like pizza, I like pasta. Ciao, baby, I see you. Oh, this is so racist. Two thumbs up to Latin Manhattan's most famous arena. It's a gladiator harpoon you've got there. Okay, and what is this? Legend says over your shoulder before you go home. If you go in the Trevi, you will come back to Rome. Okay. Do I want to go back to Rome? <laughs> I'm not that sure. Okay, let's kill the trooper up there and... Well, he is from the Bronx, as far as I know, so maybe, maybe he's just an idiot. <laughs> Oh yes, you have to of course walk the walkway. <laughs> I'm Hispanic, but I don't know Spanish. So we have all the items. So where where are we? Why is this Sistine Chapel closed today? Like the sign says, but the Sistine Chapel ceiling was stolen, and we can't reopen until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. 
Missing. There's a Steen Chapel ceiling. Reward. 900. Bonus. 2,400. Maybe he's just an idiot. In 1508, Pope Julius III commissioned the artist Michelangelo to decorate the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican. He wasn't used to painting on plaster. It took Michelangelo over four years to finish painting the 10,000 square foot ceiling. Much of the painting had to be done in an uncomfortable position. The artist was either lying on wooden scaffolds or looking straight up. The chapel ceiling is breathtakingly beautiful. It's considered Michelangelo's masterpiece. Well, I want to return the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Okay, but you'll have to prove your goods are authentic by answering a few questions. Sure, ask away. Let's make this picture perfect. Who painted the ceiling? Michelangelo. What does Sistine mean in Latin? <laughs> the fuck do I know? <laughs> This teen in Latin. It's definitely not holy. Is it six? The Sistine Chapel. It could be the Holy Chapel, but I guess it's six. At last, the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Aha! We've been looking all over town. The mayor's also wants me to present you with this $900 reward. Thank you and good luck finding Mario. Master Splinter, of course. Let's go in here for our photo. Oh, look at that. We made a photo for a photo album. Cuff, cuff. So, I have to go all the way to the right. I think if you show this to the uh, people, then you know, they may give you hints. Like, oh, do you know that this teen means six? Why is the Trevi Fountain close today? Like the sign says, but coins from the Trevi Fountain were stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. Missing coins from the Trevi Fountain. What the fuck? Reward 1,500 bonus zero. The Trevi Fountain. Legend said that if a visitor tosses coins over his shoulder into the Trevi Fountain, he will one day return to Rome. The Trevi Fountain is one of the best known landmarks in Rome because of its fable, but also because of its fancy carvings. The fountain was shown in the 1954 movie Three Coins in the Fountain. Okay. I don't want to return a gladiator sphere. I want to return uh, the coins. Okay, but you'll have to prove your goods are sending ones with your questions, okay? The Trevi is the biggest and oldest amusement park, uh, fountain. At your two cents, Luigi, why do people throw coins to return to Rome? At last, coin from the Trevi fountain. We've been looking all over town. The mayor's authorized me to present you with this $1,500 reward. I get more money for returning a few fucking coins than the whole Sistine Chapel ceiling. What the fuck? Good luck finding Mario. Oh, look at that. Considering this fountain is pretty big, I'm fairly certain it's not that hard to 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 hit to hit it. Hit it like Becca. More dosh! I don't even know why you need the money. I don't know if you can buy something or I don't know. Why is the Colosseum closed today? Luck to sign says, but the gladiator spear was stolen. We can't reopen it until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet for more information. <laughs> $2,000 reward. The Colosseum. The Colosseum was built in AD 72 at the command of an important Roman emperor. Its name comes from a Latin word meaning big, and it really is huge. 573 yards in circumference. The Colosseum seated over 50,000 spectators. The rulers and the public came to the arena each week to watch games of strength and other entertainment. 
The games they watched were often very violent, with gladiators sent to fight to riveting foes like hungry lions and elephants. Venom! Hey! Don't be so sad. What are you doing? Well, I know, but I still ask. I want to return the gladiator spear. Okay, but well, you prove your goods are authentic by answering a few questions. Sure, ask away. Who would use the spear? Lions. Oh, wait, gladiators. When was the Colosseum built? AD 72. At last! The gladiator spear! We've been looking all over town. The mayor's authorized me. I'm doing so great. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> Everybody cheer up, Phenom, because I say so. Ooh, a $2,000 reward. Nice. Look at that fat mustache Luigi has. It's creepy. Okay, so where is the exit? One up and to the right. Okay. I can find that. One up. And to the right. Ha! City score! Time bonus! And we got a password! Yes! Awesome sauce. I think it's the only spear that matters. Okay, we have to... Whoa, four more cities. We can do this! So, where are we? That... That sounds like Japan somewhere. China? No, Japan. Japan. Okay, let's kill all of the troopers, of course. Like always. I like that they gave the the, the Mario theme this this extra thingy here. Yo bitch! Where am I? Beijing is the largest city in the country, covering 6,486 square miles. That's a lot. So, China? Fairly certain it's China. There's suddenly a kitten. Suddenly kitten. Oh, I wish there was suddenly a kitten in my flat. It would be awesome. Good luck. Cheers and all. Oh. So, let's see. Oh, I can't talk with her because I don't have Yoshi. She doesn't see me, even though I can uh, jump right up her. Yo, bitch! Where am I? You are on Chang Eng Avenue, Beijing's main street. What is this? I'll tell you where that brick belongs. In a wall that's 3,946 miles long. Ah, they stole... Wait, they stole one brick out of the wall and suddenly the whole wall is closed. So we are definitely in China. And we are in Beijing! Oh, that's... That princess bitch again. No! Globulator! Yoshi, I need you! Yoshi, come to Beijing! It will be glorious here. Bombay Beijing Awesome Just like my dick So, yo, where am I? Don't let it face here, but it's the biggest country in Asia Okay, what is this? It's the great gate to the Emperor's house in Forbidden City, built by Yang Li. Yang Li! Why is the Great Wall of China closed today? Like the sign says, but the stone from the... This, this stone from the Great Wall was stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. Oh, Okay, Fernand. Missing the stone from the Great Wall. Reward stuff. The Great Wall of China. 
One of the world's seven great wonders. The Great Wall is the only man-made object visible from outer space. That's actually a lie. You can't see the Great Wall of China from outer space. It's not possible. The Chinese poetically call it Long Wall of 10,000 Li. It is said that over 300,000 men labored for 10 years to complete its 3,946 miles. Begun in 5th century BC, its purpose was to keep northern tribes from attacking southern states. The wall was built wide enough to allow a team of 5 horses to run side by side along its top so <laughs> the weakest wall. <laughs> okay, I wonder what, what the question is. Well, I have this one stone. How long is the Great Wall? Uh, 3,946 miles. How many men did it take to build the wall? 300,000. At last, a stone! What <laughs> a skeleton oh The Great Wall of China. When Luigi was there. Woohoo! City map. Uh, I have to go one down. There is one. And then another one down. Whoop! Come on! Trolls are horrible! Ah! God. Yeah, Luigi is like, fuck, fuck a Mario! I have to see the world! And then he just went off with Yoshi and says, yeah. Mario can, Mario can suck my greasy Italian dick! <laughs> Why is the Forbidden City closed? Like the sign says, but the Gate of Heavenly Peace was stolen and we can't reopen till it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. The Great Way of Heavenly Peace, Tian An Men, was built in AD 1651. An impressive 110 feet tall, Heavenly Peace is the main entrance to Forbidden City, which has been renamed the Palace Museum. Once the vault is state of emperors, only the emperor himself was permitted to use Tiananmen. men. Guards kept everyone else out. Those entitled to visit the city had to use a separate entry. In 1949, the leader, Mao Zedong, stood at the gate to announce the formation of the People's Republic of China, the present-day communist government. They stole an entire gate. What the fuck game? Here I want to return the uh, gate of heavenly peace. Ask away. Who couldn't enter the forbidden cities through the heavenly gate? Everyone and everything. The emperor was no close. Everyone but the emperor. The emperor's daughter. <laughs> the emperor's daughter couldn't enter. Everyone else could. Everyone but the emperor. Who built the heavenly gate? Uh, Mao Zedong. Another fake. Huh. Come what? Come back a little later. What? You fucking bitch! You're not. Who built it? This is what's been in. Mao Zedong was the guy who stood there. Okay. Guess I have to ask the people around. The third. How do you know? Did you check a walkthrough? What do you know? I doubt it. Princess bitch. <laughs> Everyone but the Emperor. Ah! What is pos Forbidden City's present name? The Palace Museum. At last! The Gate of Heavenly Peace. We've been looking all over. La 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 la. The Forbidden City. That looks interesting. So, the <laughs> princess bitch. Let's go all the way down. Bang. Zoo! Hi! Why is the Temple of Heaven closed today? 
Like the sign says, but the Hall of Good Harvest was gold. They stole a whole hall. And we can't reopen until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet more information. Tian Tan, the Temple of Heaven, is China's most famous temple. It consists of several buildings built around the 15th century, all set inside a walled park. The Hall of Good Harvest, the most well-known of the park's building, is set on top of a triple tier of marble terraces. Each carved terrace has its own balcony. The 123 foot high structure is amazing because it was built without one single nail. What? They didn't use one single nail. Why? Why wouldn't you use a fucking nail? Oh, that fur was gold. The Emperor of China would spend only evening a year in the temple, fasting and praying to assure good harvest. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The Emperor would spend one evening fasting and praying, so he wasn't eating for one evening. That's good. The sure good harvest. I want to return the Hall of Good Harvest. Ask away. What did the Emperor do here one night a year? Had a slumber party. Held a great feast. He feasted, fasted and prayed. Amazingly, the Great Hall was built without windows. <laughs> well. It was built without air conditioning. I'm fairly certain there is no air conditioning in the Great Hall. But I guess we have to go with nails. <laughs> My inner engineer is confused. My German engineer. At last, the Hall of Good Harvest. We've been looking all over town. Blah, 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 blah. The Temple of Heaven. Ha, huh, okay, so where do I have to go next? One up and to the right. Wonderful. We thought architects would be fun. Oh yeah guys, how do we build this? I don't know, just hammer it together. I don't care. Pwn sex v. Okay. So, where are we now? Uh, Africa somewhere. Why is Maasai village closed today? We like the sign says, but the Maasai headdress was stolen. We can't be open until it was returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. Of the more than 70 tribes in Africa, none are more visually well known than the Maasai. Their lives revolved around the cattle and the money they make from trading herds. But the Maasai are also famous warriors. When the male Maasai reaches the age of 15, he is initiated into warrior group. He dyes his skin in distinctive reddish orange with paste from the ochre plant. His hair is tightly braided and then too is covered with ochre paste. As young warriors, the boys hunt with blunted arrows. Small birds are the first prey. As a reward, the birds are stuffed and tied around a frame, which the wearer's head dresses. That's quite evil. Those poor birds! Don't kill the birds. Only in bird. So. Yo, fuckface! Where am I? I can tell you, you are on Africa's east coast. I know a lot more, but I don't want to boast. Yeah, how, how about you tell me where exactly where I am, you fucking asshole. Blue... headed bitch. Let's go up. Damn it! Hey, how you doing? Yo, where am I? I climbed Everest and Fuji and now I'll have to climb Mount Kenya just to keep my reputation up. You fat fuck! Tell me that you climbed the fucking Everest. How? Did they build a fucking elevator in there? Oh, they have an escalator now on the Mount Everest. Everyone can climb it. It's awesome. I got something. 
I will ask these questions or get a pamphlet later. Yo, where am I? The British colonized Kenya in the 1880s. Its capital, Nairobi, began life as a train station. What is this? I wear the tribe dyes themselves red when they become warriors and they wear those headpieces. Oh god, that looks stupid. Uh, Globulator, Yoshi, go to the east coast, Nairobi, what was it, Kenya, Nairobi, yes, first one, you <laughs> fat fuck, lol, <laughs> uh, let's go all the way down, Clear out the Cooper's there and then all the way to the right. Shut up! I have a fucking green dinosaur. Yo! What is wrong with your face? Look at that! Holy hell! He looks ugly! That warrior's headdress is an important part of the tribal uniform. I go and cry now because you told me that I'm ugly. So, and now up here. There is a fucking dinosaur, don't you? Nobody gives a fuck. Hell? Sir, why are you riding a green dinosaur? So, why is the Nairobi National Park closed today? Dr. Sign says, but the baby elephant was stolen. And we can't reopen till it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. A mere eight miles from the con what the fuck contemporary city of Nairobi is this authentic wildlife preserve. The park's trails open onto the undisturbed Kitengela Ati plains to allow the animals to follow ancient migratory paths. The park is full of lions, cheetahs, rhinos, antelopes, and many other species. Since the park is completely undeveloped, it provides an amazing swipe through safari in the shadows of a modern teeming capital city. <laughs> you turned 15? Okay, here's some orange paint. Don't go get a chicken with a blunt arrow and wear this little hat. <laughs> oh. I want to return the baby elephant. Okay, but you will have to prove your goods are authentic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I painted a fucking dog way and said that it's a baby elephant. I'm sorry, ma'am. It, it's a fake. It's just a fat dog that's grey. <laughs> sure, ask away. The Nairobi National Park is also an animal preserve. The safari park is important because it allows animals to vote. <laughs> Meet and greet human beings. <laughs> Hello, I am an elephant. I want to greet you, dear human. Roam free. At last, the baby elephant. We've been looking all over town. Oh, fuck. It doesn't even show me the baby elephant. That's a fucking zebra. Fuck zebras. I want to see a fucking baby elephant. <laughs> Princess bitch. <laughs> exactly. Uh, to the left. The <laughs> doctor elephant. Why is the National Museum of Kenya closed today? Doctor Sign says, but the human skull was stolen. We can't reopen until it gets returned. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can return a human skull. It's, it's, it will be shaped like yours, but who cares? <laughs> Fuck you, here's a zebra. <laughs> Anthropologists believe Kenya to be the birthplace of all mankind. Scientists working there have dug up some of the oldest human fossils ever found. One skull found near Lake Turkana is said to be almost 3 million years old. How can it be 3 million years old if it's the year 2015? How, how is that possible? Oh wait, oh wait. <laughs> The plains of East Africa, Kenya, Tanzania and Ethiopia are being eagerly evacuate, excavated to try and solve the mystery of where human beings first lived. They fucking lived first in McDonald's because that's where the food is a bit. Simple as that. I want to return the human skull. Okay, but here you are. Anthropologists in Kenya may be the birthplace of mankind. Why? Um, leftover birthday cake. <laughs> because of leftover birthday cake. <laughs> Gold stupid fossils. How old is the skull you're holding? Way old. <laughs> Well, way old is a good answer. I mean, three million years is kinda old. At last, the human skull. We've been looking all over town. <laughs> Holy fuck, it looks ugly. How much money do we have now? We bought 5,200. Holy shit. Luigi is stacked. So let's go down. I said go down. I want to return the Maasai headdress. Okay, but you'll have to poof your goods out there. Yeah, yeah. The Maasai make a living from what animals? Small birds. Another fake. What? <sighs> Princess bitch. How do I know where they make their living? Really? Talk with me! That's a one of, of the cattle. Yeah, cattle. Fuck. Ah, pass away. Cattle. What does a Maasai warrior use to dye his skin wet? Okre paste. Hey! I secured the city! Beep, 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 beep. Hey, don't, don't leave your sheet, you fuck. The hell? Sounds like Russia. Budapest or so. Yo! Where am I? Welcome to the home of the world's largest department store. It's Kyrillic initial spelled GUM. Okay, so somewhere in Russia. Told ya, I already hear this from the music. Soviet Russia! Stuff fights you. Uh. Holy shit, it's huge. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, let's go up. Whee! So. Why is the Bolshoi Ballet closed today? Like the sign says, but the Bolshoi Ballet slipper was stolen. We can't reopen until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. 
Extra, extra, valuable artifact missing. Russian dance companies are the accepted stars of 20th century ballet. No troupe is more famous than the Bolshoi Ballet Company, founded in 1776. Alexander Gorsky, director of the Bolshoi until 1924, is one of the most important people in the ballet world. It is said he made the dances more interesting to modern audiences by introducing weapons and explosions. Oh, oh wait. By introducing the idea of realism in the choreography and scenery. The Bolshoi Theater was built in 1856 and seats 20,000 ballet fans. Hey, how I get a new one? Here. Yeah. Sure, ask away. Bolshoi is a city, a ballet troupe, and a theater. The Bolshoi Theater seats over 3,000. No, wait, 2,000. Was built 1865. Another fake, what? Oh, you fucking bitch. Was it 3,000? No, 2,000. 1856? Ah, it was 65, what? Damn it. Maybe these flippers are magical. I've just murdered a Cooper. Let me in! Oh, that is stupid. Ah. Want to return the Bolshoi slipper? Ask away. A theater. The Bolshoi theater shows first one movie. See, it sells out every show? How the fuck can you say that it sells out every show? I highly doubt it. Oh, it sells out every show, no matter when, for since 2000 years now. What if somebody doesn't come? Then they are like, oh, yeah, well, it didn't this time. Am I in Moscow? I don't even know where I am. It's it's try in Moscow. That is the city map. Globulator. Yoshi, I need you in Moscow. Omsk, Russia. Beijing, China, Irkutsk. Where's Moscow? There we go. Yes. Ha! Ha! In your face, bitch! Why is the Kremlin closed today? Like the sign says, but the cannonball from the Emperor's cannon was stolen. What? And we can't reopen until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet. The Emperor's cannon in the Kremlin is known in Russia as Tsar Pushka. <laughs> they gave the cannon a name. It is the biggest cannon in the world. Ooh. <laughs> I haven't seen my cannon yet. With a caliber of 35 inches. <laughs> its bevel is 70.5 feet long. The cannon was cast in 1586 by Andrei Shokhov and weighs a total of 40 tons. So this fucking Cooper over there ran around with a 40 ton. Oh no, wait, the, the cannon, okay. On the barrel is a likeness of Tsar Fyodor Ivanovich. I want to return the cannonball to the boss cannon, sure. Whose image appears on the cannon? Tsar Fyodor Ivanovich. The cannon is the biggest in the world. In Soviet Russia, cannon fires you. The Kremlin. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful image. I'm happy. Let's go down and return the last item. So, why is St. Basil's Cathedral closed today? Nah, the Cathedral's dome was stolen. That's quite evil, huh? You can't reopen till it gets returned. St. Basil's Cathedral. This strange and wonderful church was built in 1555. 
by the Duke Ivan III, known as Ivan the Terrible. He ordered the church built to honor the holy fool, St. Basil. Why? Holy fool is the name for a saint in Russia. What? Faraga, are you here? Why do you guys have a saint called the Holy Fool? I want to know. The famous onion domes were added later in the 16th century. Although the church appears to have no real design, <laughs> the building was carefully built as one large chapel, surrounded by eight dome-topped chapels. Every room is painted in different patterns and colors. I want to return to Castillo though. Ask away. Holy fool means saint. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> saint in Russian. Who ordered the church built? Ivan the Terrible. <laughs> Ivan the Domed One. At last the cathedral. Uh. Saint Basil's Cathedral. Wonderful. Holy fucking shit this game. This this game is unfucking believable. Oh yeah, you need Yoshi by the way, so this thing uh, goes away. Ivan the domed one. That is wonderful. Bye Yoshi, go suck a dick. Okay, it looks like America. America! Where am I? To be more specific, you are on the Pacific in the northern half of California. California! Where? Why is the Golden Gate Bridge closed today? Dr. Science says, but the Golden Gate Bridge foghorn was stolen. And we can't reopen until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. Although more of an orange color than its name suggests, the Golden Gate might be the world's most famous bridge. It was built in 1937 and it took over four years to complete. It is 4,200 feet long. The main cables are 36.5 inches in diameter and were designed to withstand winds of up to 100 miles per hour. Because the Golden Gate Bridge is covered in fog on most days, it is equipped with enormous fog horns. In the very middle, the bridge is 260 feet above the bay, just tall enough for navy battleships to pass underneath. San Francisco, right. Globulator. San Francisco, California. There we go. Well, why did they just not steal the whole bridge? Which would be fun. I wonder if the city layout has anything to do with the city itself. Like a, a rough estimate or so, I don't know. Does San Francisco look like that? Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Probably not, yeah. We just did something. Holy fuck, I'm hungry. I'm done with streaming. City map. Where am I? Hi there. Let's go up. Why not? I have bananas! 
I'm going to most likely eat a banana, so... Though I didn't really have something real today, I only had like, um... Uh, 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 rolls. With my lovely, uh, bean paste. I love the bean paste. Uh, let's go down and left. But yeah. The main problem is I don't even know what I want to eat. I, I did buy something, but I didn't cook today. Which is quite sad. Because I have tzucchini and mushrooms and uh, potatoes. And I wanted to put some rice to that. But that's too late for now. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. I guess tomorrow, considering I won't stream tomorrow, I say this again, I will not stream tomorrow. No stream tomorrow. Uh, I will cook something lovely. So, no bacon for me. It's been uh, more than two months now since I ate something meaty. Okay, let's go. So, why is the Transamerica Pyramid closed today? Like the sign says, but top of the top of the Transamerica Pyramid was stolen. Okay, that's a that's a reason to, to close this down. And we can't reopen until it gets returned. The Transamerica Pyramid on Columbus Avenue in downtown San Francisco was built in 1972. It has become a landmark due to its unusual shape. Standing 853 feet tall, the pyramid is said to have changed the distinct shape of the city skyline. San Francisco is very susceptible to earthquakes, so the pyramid was built with a flexible concrete base, which makes it one of the most earthquake proof of all of San Francisco's skyscrapers. Okay. And here I have the. Yeah. The pyramid is located on. Uh, Columbus Avenue. It was completed in 1972? Yeah! The Tomb of War. The Transamerica Pyramid. Oh, that's nice. No, 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 wait, Yoshi. Just, you stay here. I wanted to use this. Uh, one up. Why is the court tower closed today? Dr. Science says, but the window from... <laughs> one window was stolen! So they, stay, they, they steal the whole upper area of a thing? Or they just steal one window? <sighs> the window from court tower was stolen. Court tower stands 500 feet above the San Francisco Bay, on top of Telegraph Hill. Uh, the structure takes its name from Lillian Hitchcock Coit, who donated 125000 to have it built in 1934. The tower honors the San Francisco Fire Brigade, shaped like a tall column. It is easy to see why people constantly remark that it resembles a fire hose. Inside the tower is decorated with 16 large murals. The 25 mural artists were commissioned as part of the Make Work program designed to ease financial hardships during the Great Depression. Okay. Hi, Boba Man. How are you doing? Now let's return the window. On what hill does Coit Tower stand? Telegraph Hill. What was the tower built to honor? The San Francisco Fire Brigade. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's honor the Great Depression. At last, the window from Coit Tower. Yay! The Coit Tower. Yeah, it really looks like a firehouse, really. I'm proud of you guys. Uh, all the way to the left. Shut up! <coughs> uh, 
I want to return the Golden Gate Witch Foghorn. Sure, ask away. What color is the Golden Gate Witch? More orange. The Golden Gate connects San Francisco to the open ocean. Oh god! Oakland? Melvin Country. Oakland. Another thing. Fuck. Fuck. It doesn't tell me what it connects to. Okay. Evil. Everything is meant to be phallic, Zelt. Everything! Hey, you're too busy. Your face is too busy. Ask away. Orange. Oh god. 1937? Yes. No, there's only stolen one foghorn. The Golden Gate Butch. Lol phallic. <laughs> Lol penis shapes. <laughs> so now I have to fight the boss. I don't even know if I can die. Can I die? Can you kill me? No. <laughs> I, I don't know why they put it in. Haha, <laughs> penis. How often do I have to hit you? Ron von uh, Cooper. <laughs> I fucking killed him. Fuck that guy. No, oh, Lenny, Lemmy, whatever. I have no idea where I am. Ah, oh, it looks Russian again. He's running from the penis. No. Is this Grease? Oh, this is Grease. Grease hype. One truck banner, whatever. Hotel Apollo. Ah, that's a definite Greece. Yo, where am I? Athens became the capital of Greece in 1834, but it was founded 3,000 years before. Globulator. So, let's go to Greece. Why not? Athens. Woohoo! Yoink! Ha! But we have to find David's... Da David's crotch. Oh no! David's penis was stolen! Please return it back! <laughs> oh no! Don't steal the penis! Yo, bitch, what's this? Superwoman has nothing on her. Six of those hold up the Erechtheon's roof. Why am I? It's extremely easy. This nation is a southernmost country in Europe. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Davy Jones Quatch. <laughs> no, no. Just brings me down here. It's so useless. Shut up! <laughs> Luigi's the rest of a penis left. Where did you hide? 
Where did you hide the stone penis? Oh, don't look at my bum, please. <laughs> That's why he was smuggling it out of the country. Shoved it up his ass. <laughs> I think I vented it once. It's quite fun. I like the idea of it. It would be nice if more games would teach you a little bit. Though the gameplay would be a little bit better. Work hard. So, where is the last? Oh god. Of course. Ah, there's two more. Solid! <laughs> this game is solid! So, boink, boink, boink. Yes! I chose wisely. So, where. Where is something? All to the south. Okay. Let's do. Like a quick glance, like, oh, where is it? So, why is Hartgren's art closed today? Look, the sign says, but the breast plague was stolen. We can't reopen until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. The Roman Emperor Hadrian, 117 to 130 AD. What? He was only 21 years old? Oh, he, okay. Commissioned the building of the ornate arch. The arch separates the ancient city of Athens from the Roman city he built there, Hadrianopolis. The arch, made from pure white marble, was completed in 131 AD and resembles the French Arc de Triomphe. Two brass plates are fixed to the arch, say it all. On the west face, the inscription reads, This is Athens, the ancient city of Theseus. While on the east face, the inscription reads, This is the city of Hadrian and not of Theseus. <laughs> okay? I want to return the brass plate. Oh, he was only 21 years emperor, that's also true. Ask away. For whom did they name the arch and the known Roman city? And the new? For whom? Hadrian. What other famous arch does this one resemble? The Arch de Triomphe. At last, the breastplate. Emperor was died like flies. I can, can kind of imagine this. Hadrian's arch. Arch, whatever. S. Uh, city map. Zorba. Damn it. Why is the Pantheon closed today? Like the sign says, but the Pantheon column was stolen. We can't reopen until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. The Pantheon was built to honor Athena, goddess of Athens, Athens, who gave Greece capital city its name, Athens. Okay. The Pantheon Tenon was erected between 447 and 438 BC by the same architects who built the Acropolis. The temple is famous for its quantity of Doric columns. There are 8 columns on both ends and 17 along each side. An enormous statue of the goddess once stood in the Pantheon's great hall. She was 39 feet high. Her hands and face made from ivory. Her dress was 2,205 pounds of pure fucking gold. Holy fucking shit. These dumb pieces of his ass. The architect of Wurzelpad also built the Acropolis. The Pantheon was built to honor Athena. At last, the Pantheon column. Why is the Erechtheion temple closed today? The Karyatid was stolen, we can't reopen, okay? Oh god. The Erechtheion temple's floor plan is very complicated. It was built to include many earlier temples that once stood on the same site. Over the centuries, the temple has been a church, a palace, a harem, and a storehouse for the Greek military, okay? Its most famous feature is the porch of the Karyatids. 
tits or whatever. A deck supported by six columns, which resemble young girls. Each karyatid stands six feet six inches high. The girls' dresses look like the columns they replace. The karyatids are copies. The originals were removed to protect from them against pollution. <laughs> There's so many stone pieces up his bum. Ask away. Each karyatid has a lovely face. What are they meant to replace? Uh, columns. What is the one thing they uh, must not be? <laughs> <laughs> this girl. It hasn't been a church. It hasn't been a disco either, you fucking bitch. Oh wait, it was a church, but it wasn't a disco. Okay. Columns. Don't get the kind of remove the protective from pollution. But it wasn't a disco, right? That is correct. That looks nice. So, on with squeeze. That was fast. Uh, left and up. The <laughs> damn stock of the pro. <laughs> Princess Peach, would I ever offer you a fake? <laughs> It's the original. <laughs> Erection Temple. Hotel Esplendido. Okay. Well, there are many Hotel Esplendidos here. Ah, the third Hotel Esplendido. You bitch, where am I? Espanol is the national language in Buenos Aires. Okay, Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires, oh, that's fast. Zoo. Let's get all the Coopers. <laughs> Active temple indeed. Here we have the erection temple. <laughs> Fun. So, why is the obelisk monument closed today? The stone from the obelisk was stolen. We can't reopen, okay? The obelisk monument. The obelisk monument in downtown Buenos Aires honors the 400th anniversary of the founding of Argentina's capital city. Built in 1910 and made of stone, it was designed to look like the Washington Monument, Washington DC. The obelisk is very tall, it can be seen from most of downtown. A small door on the monument side allows visitors the unique opportunity to climb an obelisk. A staircase inside brings visitors to the top, where they can look out onto the Plaza de Republica and view the entire city. Okay. I want to return the stone from the obelisk. What could a visitor do inside the obelisk? Get a haircut, eat a meal, climb a staircase to the very top. What will you find at the top of the obelisk? Windows. The crown jewels, Argentina's constitution. Windows! <laughs> at last, the stone from the obelisk. We've been looking all over town. Okay, that's a pretty huge obelisk. The obelisk monument. Great. And now, where am I? I have to go to the right and down. 
Argentinas Constitution. That's what we find. Uh. Why is the Teatro Colon <laughs> close to death? Like the sign says, but the flute from the Teatro Colon was stolen. We can't reopen until it gets returned. There's a flute and a colon. Okay. The Teatro Colon is considered one of the world's most beautiful opera houses. It is also famous for its wonderful acoustics or sound system. It was built in 1908. The stage can hold 600 performers and is la longer than one city block. The theater is very fancy with its huge chandeliers, red and gold box seats and soft red upholstery. Besides opera, the colon is home to the National Ballet and National Symphony Companies. <laughs> I have a national ballet in my colon. <laughs> I want to return the flute from the theatre colon. Show us your way. Which group does not perform at the colon? Tango dancers. When was the theatre colon built? I have already forgot. 198? Ah, at last, the flute from the theatre colon. Was 198 even mentioned? No! Evil! I guess I have to, I had to ask the uh, there was a people over. Look at look at her face! Look at that! Look at that ugly face! What the fuck is wrong with you? Why is there no one on an answer? So where am I? I have to go down, left, down. Okay. Why is the Gaucho Museum closed today? <laughs> Janet Jackson. Like the sign says, but the bull... Was? Bulliadoras was stolen. And we can't reopen till it gets returned. Gauchos are Argentina's version of cowboys. Boleadoras are Y-shaped lasso with leather covered stone balls. <laughs> At one end was the gaucho's most efficient herding tool. In the 1700s, the gaucho lived in the fields with his herds. He mostly traveled the pampa <laughs> plains while riding extremely fast horses, imported from the Spaniards. The gaucho used the boleadores to trip the bulls and cows in his herd. Oh, that's mean. They were solid. Causing them to fall. Once on the ground, he could brand the butcher the cattle without help. <laughs> Fucking butcher that poor thing. What is a boleadores? Another word for bowling? <laughs> a gaucho tool. What is a boleadores made of? Leather and stones. Plastic and styrofoam. <laughs> it's a gaucho museum. Oh look, there's a mummy in there. <laughs> what the fuck is with this guy? <laughs> Butcher the cattle with solid stone balls. It's <laughs> got balls of stone. Luigi <laughs> has balls in his mouth and a penis up his ass. That's his usual endeavor. Every weekend. <laughs> it will give me speed. So, three more. I'm in Nintendo Land. How the, f the fuck am I? Oh god. Oh, Aust ah, I'm in, um... Australia somewhere. Solid fucking gold! 
just like my dick. Is Holland on the map? I'm pretty sure Holland is on the map. Solid stone ass cheeks. So, I got the three items. You beat Tremai. I was most interested in the Aborigines, but now I want to see kangaroos too, okay? Oh wait, I'm missing one. I thought I got all three already. Damn it. I'm gonna go and dig up my ass now. <laughs> to each their own, I always say. Then again, who doesn't want a golden dig up their ass? As long as I could keep it, that's something. I got a koala, yeah. It's eating my fucking face off. City map. Let's go down. There are more. Golden dick in the ass. Did they do that in Jackass? I have no idea. It sounds painful. Oh, god damn it. God darn it. Fucking Cooper. Uh, let's get uh, Yoshi here. Uh, there are only two cities in Australia that are worth mentioning. Sydney and Perth apparently. <laughs> Fuck the worst! Go up and right. Why is the Bondi Beach closed? Like the sign says, but the surfboard. A surfboard was stolen! That's why they closed the whole beach? Oh, come on! The Bondi Beach, Australia, because it is both a continent and a country, has thousands of miles of coastline. Two of the most popular beaches near Sydney are famous around the world. Both Manly and Bondi beaches are popular as great surfing beaches. But Bondi is perhaps the better of the two. Thousands of beach enthusiasts gathered Bondi every year to watch the Australian Surfing Championships. I want to return the... Uh, never mind. I want to return the surfboard from...